Hello, welcome all. This is Zexarella back with another gameplay. Today I am doing my own little type of uh, series that I want to do for this channel, which is random gameplay. And random gameplay, or maybe my name is something else, where I play different games, like either a short gameplay, a demo, or a free game on Steam. Today we're going. I am going to be playing uh, um, some demos, and uh, yeah, now I'm going to be playing some demos today. So, ooh, 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 and also I've heard some feedback of um, my microphone, and I, I'm going to find a way to make it a little bit more better so you can hear me. I might have to do like this a little bit more, or I have to maneuver. Or maybe I could get something for my microphone where I can put it close to me. Let me see. Uh, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna figure it out. So thank you for the person who for the feedback. I'm gonna put it right over here on my screen. Okay. So. So. The demo we're going to play today is called Fear of Mind. Fear of Mind, a visual novel in the game of adventure and horror. An alien mushroom creature has brought you under his influence, and now it seems to take over the whole world. Can you escape its grasp? Can you survive? Can you at least save others from falling prey to the same fate as yours? So, let's get into it. The ups and the downs, yeah. Also, too, make sure the volume's not too high on the game. See, that's the thing. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Make it full. Boom, boom, bang. Settings. All right. Hopefully this is good for you guys to hear me. I am pretty happy to do certain new things for myself. I feel like I've been doing too much of the same things, or some things where I feel like I used to think should be traditional, but. You always gotta break that tradition. So, let's get into our Sunday random game. Random game Sunday. Random day Sunday? Yeah. Random day. Random game Sunday. I think we should just call it random Sunday. There we go. Okay. May 19, 2040. Wow. My diary. 2040. I am about to be 28 this year. 2040. Let me pause this. Let me see. 2040. How old will I be in 2040? Ah, uh, there you go. Calculator. Let me see. 1995 subtract by 2004. Nineteen ninety-five. Forty-five. I'll be forty-five in two thousand forty. And May 19th, oh, May 19th, I'm, I'll, I'll already be 45, because my birthday is May 17th. Wow. It's 2020, well, 2023, and 2040, which is like, what, two decades? In two decades, I'll be 40. Right? 
Because two, yeah, twenty twenty. Because twenty, because it's twenty twenties and then twenty thirties. I'll be like somewhere in my thirties and four. wow. I just had a realization how old I'm gonna be. So let me. Okay, let's get back into the game. Let's get back into the game. May 19th, 2040. My diary. I don't, I can't read that. Um. Chapter one. I got all the information, so I got this. Um, where did mini map escape to? I sincerely wonder, wondered on the way home. The entrance door was not locked with a key, so it was easy to get inside. Okay, okay. I was met on the premise by Kira and a barely familiar niece. He has only recently became part of our company and it must be said under very mysterious circumstances. In fact, before he came along, our team of workaholics, workaholics, workaholic miners, consist of three workaholics. Kira, the suddenly disappeared, the suddenly disappeared, yeah, dis disappeared mini map, and me. Um, where should we name ourselves? I say Zaya. I always put Zaya. Kira, Minimap, who suddenly disappeared, and me, Zaya. Zaya, so did you find him? Unfortunately, no. Could it be he went to that mini uh, mine alone? I said mini mine alone. In the morning, he told me he had found something interesting. He insists that we should go, uh, go, I'll go there together and see it. What do you mean by something interesting? I didn't expect our um, argument yesterday to have such a consequence. Did he really go down the mine in all the seriousness and decide to start his role playing game? It's true, I saw him rather worried today. Neith joined in the discussion, which surprised me as he usually didn't participate in much conversation. Okay, Neith. We spent the whole last night engaged in animated debate. Minimap was clearly not in the best spirits. So our friend who went to the mine name is Minimap. If I'm trying to be clear, um, you, you two had an argument, and then he left to do like a, you know, RPG in the mine. And okay, he's not in the best spirits. He was constantly irritated, wanted to prove us, prove to us that we would definitely find something exciting and worthwhile in the mine. 
Well, basically, I think we should split up, but instead go down the line together. And this needs to be done as soon as possible. Yes, agreed. Let's go. Everyone grabbed their backpack and started packing, taking out of a clock um, the closest to things they need to buy. Yeah. which were immediately put into bags, as well as tools purchased from X company in advance. I need to put on my suit. Suit? Swipe? Suit. Okay, put on suit. A few years ago, the X company released a suit that opened up many possibilities for the miners. This innovates and, you know, you know uh, tool has specifically improved safety and comfort when working underground. Oh, this slot. I wish I knew what the diary said. Can we go back and find out what the diary said? I... Guess not. Log up. When the collections were fully completed, we went into the streets. Do you think it will take us there for a long time? I don't know why it took too long to read that. <laughs> um, are you serious? We didn't know. We didn't. We don't know where. Mini map and what's with it. But all you care about is how long we're gonna stay there? Sorry guys, I haven't been working with you for long and forgive me, I haven't developed any particular attachment yet. Is it better to call the police or rescue service rather than to take matters into one's own hands and go where we all clearly not belong? Then you can stay here. We, we don't abandon our bone. We wanted to answer something else, even open his mouth, but neither due to neither due to lack of reason to argue or lack of word. Rather, it was simply out of the unwillingness to um, escalate the conflict. He merely frowned and followed. I give a tooth. Is lying around somewhere in the st um, storeroom. He hugs the bottle and sleeps sound soundly. Everything is all right. We'll see. Kira suggests with a smile, even in such a situation of not losing his ultimatum. We headed to the mine, which is a couple of hundred meters away from our home. In it. In Incidentally, we worked as a one team. For three whole days, four of us were assigned to be on duty while the other workers living much further away visit other mines. Okay. Um, already approached the mine, I was sincerely surprised. I was left with a pressing sense of anxiety that had never before ar arisen. It seemed like no one had been here for hundreds of years. Indeed, the entrance to the mine seemed to have become more strange and foreign place. I have to show. He began to feel a strange, uneasy, and unpleasant tightness in his chest. But what could have changed in one night? Excuse me. Uh, wow, everything has grown so much in one day. Guys, is it supposed to be like this? What could have happened? Strange. Strange. I thought to myself and felt a shiver run down my spine. We were walking through a well lit well lit tunnel of the mine. To get down to the lower level, it took quite a bit of time. Suddenly the sound of stone crack cracking was heard, and it felt like the floor beneath our feet had disappeared. What happened next? All three of them. All three of them, losing their balance, fell straight into the cold water. 
That definitely couldn't have happened before. I couldn't shake the thought that the mind suddenly turned into an ancient organism. Was Minimap here? This question tormented me to the most while I, like my friend, was falling into nothingness. Damn it. What was that? We fell into a pit filled with icy water, which is almost up to our necks. The whole trouble was that we couldn't even reach the nearest rock to climb back up. Everyone felt the weak current slowly carry the whole team away. But I didn't panic. I quickly dove under underwater in the direction of the current. At the same time, I noticed that I was able to quickly surface from the depth. Then I began to quickly carry it away from the guys. A few seconds later, I found myself in a similar hole. But then I saw a smooth climb up the gravel but then I, I saw a smooth climb up the gravel to the surface. Looks like we didn't know much about this mine, and we've come some we can't we've got some adventure ahead of us. Guys, there's the passageway. I was able to get up. As I sur surveyed the demi light room, I had suddenly found myself in Kira and Heath had already arrived to join me. What could have happened here? Oh, look. What is that on the table center? Coming close, Kiri knows the note. Here lies a note. Let's read it. Take the note. I picked up the white sheet of the paper. On it was something very similar to blood written, written in the following text. You won't find mini map anymore. You won't find mini map anymore. Demo in. Leave. Wait. That's it. Oh. Okay. Um. Demo's over. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>